Hey everybody. So yesterday is a big, exciting, long day for me, and I wanted to tell you about it. I wanted to tell you what we got coming up for this channel in the future, and uh, just kind of let everybody know um, what's going on in my life and what's coming up, and uh, share the latest on uh, on some stuff uh, that you may or may not be interested in. So, first off. Uh, this morning, about 1.30 in the morning, uh, I had a, a little girl was born to us, uh, Melody Ann. And so, uh, we were pretty sure she was going to show up last night, and, uh, and sure enough, she did. Uh, so, the older girls, um, the three oldest, they got up and were able to see the birth and greet her right away. Uh, Hazel, the fourth youngest girl, she uh, she didn't want to get out of bed. And uh, Simon, he woke up a time or two, but he uh, he was just grumpy about all the commotion and wanted everybody to go back to bed and turn the lights off, and he wanted to go back to sleep. But, uh, but anyways, it was a good birth. Everything was good. Um, I'm staying home today to take care of Chrissy and and the baby and and uh you know prepare food for for chrissy and and for the kids and everything i i just got done making some rice pudding for a postpartum meal for my my wife and so i got to cook with uh, the most expensive spice in the world this morning first time for that so um that'd be saffron the stamen of some sort of flour if if you're not familiar with it um so yeah, that's that's my life today. I, I'm trying to take it a little easy today. Uh, I'll do a little bit of paperwork in the basement, but uh, um, here I am at home. Uh, the other big thing that happened yesterday, not um, quite as exciting, but uh, something maybe more people be interested in at this point is uh, I got got my truck running again. I I woke up early and got to work a little before four in the morning and. I put the exhaust on it and wrapped up a bunch of details, got the hood and front clip aligned a lot better than they were, um, you know, just did all the little small things that, that tie up a project, and uh, so I was able to drive it home last night, that was exciting and fun and enjoyable, uh, it's running pretty good. I think I do need to adjust the timing just a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna have to get it back to work and to the timing light to do that. But it's it's not running bad. I just think that it has more potential than what it's got right now. Um, so here in a minute, I'll fire it up and let you guys hear it and maybe even take it down the road. Um, but because uh, it's a it's a pretty fun truck. Um, but before I get to that, before I go back to the truck, uh, I want to tell you what's going on for the channel. Um, I, was, I was talking to Jermail last night, that'd be Mr. Interstate Made Me, and uh, with the purple Peterbilt, and he's he's really encouraged me. Uh, every time I get on and make a video, I, I always forget, you know, like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos. I do have other stuff. I'm trying to grow it bigger and bigger. Um, my most popular video so far is the uh, the one on building a a 40 pin cat motor, and I know that it is poorly done. Um, since then, I've upgraded to GoPro, and and I got some extra equipment with GoPro to incre increase the video quality and audio quality. So I'm gonna remake that video, and uh, so be on the lookout for that. That's my first one of my first steps for uh, this channel um, now that the baby's here and this truck's done and out of my way um, gonna be focusing more on on the YouTube stuff um, here at the end of this month uh, I'm we're ordering parts and getting ready I'm gonna be rebuilding a uh, C15 Acert engine um, out of a Kenworth T660 um, we're gonna do an out of frame on it uh, change it to a single turbo and uh, and alongside of doing that job uh, the owner of the truck is going to be working in the shop and I'll be giving them a hand and we're going to do a real transformation on the truck 
the guy is a a neat freak and clean freak and he he always keeps his stuff real nice so like i said it's a tc t660 um we're going to be removing fairing install, installing step boxes under the the cab uh putting stacks on it because it has a brush burner exhaust right now uh we're going to be moving the fuel tanks back further polishing them out um i think may half fenders or something like that uh, but this truck's going to go through a transformation and get a new lease on life with that uh, rebuilt engine. So I plan on making video of that and walking everybody through um, a lot of that. Following that, um, I got a, a farmer, local farmer, with a bit of an older truck, but it's nice and clean and solid. Um, but we had it in the shop this last week and we've been keeping an eye on torque rods and radius rods we knew they were looking really really rough but they they're tight well um when i was in the shop last week we found that one of the spacers between the frame rail and the torque rod had busted you know their aluminum busted fall out falling out and the bolts were loose so we went to throw another spacer in it temporarily and when we did so there's a kind of reinforcement plate on the outside of the frame rail this is on Kenworth and so we took it off to replace that spacer and behind that that plate there was a crack in the frame and so following that you thought well you know we don't see this truck a whole lot maybe we ought to look over the rest of the frame back of frame and stuff and and it didn't take but a second and to peek underneath the fifth wheel slider and the top flanges were bowed down rusted out real bad and thin and cracked on both sides so as soon as i'm done with that engine rebuild we're going to bring that truck in um, and we're going to replace frame rail from in front of the front drive axle all the way to the back um, that's a job that i've seen plenty of people do and i've rarely seen it done well so i want to walk through that with everybody go step by step and show you how to to replace frame rail repair frame rail splice frame, frame rail you know whatever you need to do there but to do it where it's safe it's going to hold up for as long as the rest of the truck does and dot approves it um so it's something that you know you go to to mats at the big truck show and you see these stretch trucks and stuff and even there I mean, I walk around and you can see splices in the frame from 15 feet away. Ugly, nasty, um, poorly done. Like, I, I want to trust pull load with it. Um, I don't like that. Um, so I want to show you uh, how to do it on a truck that can, after the, the repair, can go haul oversized loads. Um, so there's a lot of information there. I think that'll be a good video. Um, like and subscribe. To see that when it comes uh and then of course uh we get those jobs out of the way this this winter um Jermail's bringing his truck in and dropping it off and over the winter we're gonna really go deep into rebuilding his truck and he's been very generous to me he he told me basically he's dropping it off to me He's going back to work on the road in a rented truck, and I got the list of, of stuff to do to it, and he doesn't want to see it. He wants me to make video on it. He wants me to inform everybody else, but he wants to be the last person in the world to know about what's going on with his truck. And uh, so he wants me to, to grow my channel with that content, and uh, so I, I really respect that. I appreciate that. Um, that's a lot of content he could be putting on his channel. But he wants me to take it and run with it. And he said he's going to catch up after he gets the truck back and watch everything. So I want, a good, I want to do a good job for him, both in building the truck, but content as well. So, uh, so anyway, that's what's coming. Um, if you want to watch, I'm going to cut this portion of the video off. I'm going to show you my truck here in a minute. And maybe we'll drive it a little bit if you're interested in seeing that. But right now, uh, my timer just went off. I need to get the rice pudding off the burner where it's simmering and go feed that to my wife, and then we'll get back to this truck. All right, 
so out of all my trucks, all my vehicles, this here is my favorite one to drive. Uh, I've had it the least amount of time, so maybe that factors into it. But this is a 72 F-250 Camper Special. Three-quarter ton, two-wheel drive. It's got a 390 in it out of a 64 Thunderbird. And it's got a C6. I just, over the winter, uh, I wanted to pull headers, or put headers on it. And so... I, uh, <clears throat> I ended up having to pull the engine out in order to get them in. And, of course, while the engine's out, you naturally just want to reseal everything and put a big cam in it. You know, it's a good excuse. It's out already. Um, so I did that. You know, the, the heads needed resurfaced for the exhaust manifolds, and we cleaned up um, the head gasket area there, had those decked. Uh, they they were showing a little wear from the fire rings in the gasket um, and of course you know we we had uh, a lot of rust issues uh, front cab mounts I had to replace those replaced floorboards um, the core support was rotted out replaced that um, I reupholstered the seat or you know put new upholstery on it you can buy that as a kit so that was pretty easy had to patch up the foam on the driver's side just a little but it was pretty good um you know new rubber on the floor this truck is never going to be a show truck it's always going to have this patina because i believe this is just beautiful um i do have some more trim for the passenger side bed side there um it's at work i meant to bring it home and and put it on while I was here at home, you know, taking care of the family and stuff. But, of course, I forgot it at work. But uh, it'll get on here soon. Um, in the meantime, uh, this truck just runs and drives so well. It, it, I put a new uh, power steering gearbox and pump on it. And um, it really handles and, and steers like a new truck. Um, really fun to drive. Uh, I put the exhaust on it yesterday morning. Um, it's pretty short, pretty loud. I honestly, I, I think that uh, I uh, I might have to replace those mufflers here sometime. Um, they're just a bit loud for me. Uh, I think you'll get to get to see that in a second. Um, I'll fire this up, and uh, we'll go down the road and see. Uh, see what I'm experiencing because I really I'd like to put a radio in this but the way it is um, there's no point in the radio if you can't hear it so uh, let me get this set up and and I'll fire it up and you can hear this and see what you think
once again, if, uh, if you enjoyed any of this, if any of that sounds interesting to you, like this video and subscribe to it. Uh, comment, um, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything in particular, especially during one of these future builds or jobs that I'm doing. Anything specific that you want to know or want covered, I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah. Everybody, uh, yeah. Enjoy your day. I hope you're having as good a day as I, I'm having. Um, just can't beat this. Got my new baby. Thank you, God. Thank you for a healthy wife and kids and um, enjoying this truck, enjoying this beautiful day. Um, I gotta admit, I don't miss working on trucks today, but uh, we'll get back to it tomorrow. Talk to you all later. There she is, everybody. Melody Ann, a little over nine pounds at birth, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure she really wants to be out in the world yet, but everybody's glad to have her.